All right, guys, so haul time. I moved this picture from there to here, and I kind of like it. Is it pretty? Because while I loved having plants there, the f because I'm not good at camera stuff, it kept focusing on like certain elements back there and not on my face. So the goal here is to have a huge round mirror, but until I find someone to put it up, this is, I think that looks fine. I like really like it. Okay, anyway, haul time. I put in an order at CVS. So last time I talked about the CVS vitamins that I take to keep like my hair nice. And I don't know what it really does for my skin, but my hair and my nails are definitely very healthy because of that. And when I went to go link it, I found out that it, Vitamins were buy one get one free. Now buy one get one half off is a pretty common occurrence, but buy one get one free? Anyway, so I bought two, obviously. It was after coupons, there was even a coupon for it, and yeah. So I ended up paying $10 for both of these bottles together, 300 in each. Like this will easily last me two years. Let's see, what's the expiration? Okay, good. <laughs> July of 2023. So I am all set for my favorite vitamins for a very long time. So I had to hit like the free shipping threshold and I didn't want to buy more vitamins obviously because I wouldn't be able to finish them. So I got, I think these were buy one get one half off. The Beauty 360 Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This is like my everyday eye makeup remover. So it never hurts to have these. Uh, they're a dupe for the Neutrogena. They're a dupe for the Lancome Bifacil. Like if you like those, just buy this. Now these, the smaller bottle is comparable in price to the Neutrogena one, I would say, but when you go in store, they have a big daddy bottle, definitely get that one. These are 8.25 ounces. There's one, I think that's is it 11 or seven. I don't know. I don't wanna make up. I'm like bad with numbers. Oh, anyway, got this. Because their free shipping is 35, and then I got three more, 30 or 35? These are like the Everyday Lash. The Ardell 172, so always good to have those. Okay, so I got an email from Skincare RX that was 30% off. Skincare RX, I believe, is a sister website to skinstore.com, I think. I feel like you're part of the same like umbrella company. So anyway, every so often you'll get an email. So sign up for their emails, but it'll be like 30% off because you haven't shopped in a while. Meanwhile, when you go to the website, they're only offering 25. So anyway, I was excited. So <laughs> I got another Kagendo. Do you guys remember the video where I showed you how many of these I have? So many, but I use it every day. I even started using Bioderma again. It does not, it is not even close to what this does for my skin. Like not even close. I also feel like the Bioderma doesn't remove as much makeup as this one. I know it's crazy. Like I used to think they were like kind of close. Mm -mm. Then I picked up the IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. I did a video where I did a skincare haul and I talked about like my cleansing routine. Uh, I'll link that below. I feel like, you know what is interesting? Um, and I hear a lot of people who do YouTube talk about this is videos that are requested from people are not viewed as much. Like I feel like a, a lot of you are always asking for more skincare videos and when I do skincare focused videos, no one, like not no one watches, but like a lot less of you will tune in. So I feel like the minority voice is a little louder because you have more like a stronger opinion of what you wanna see. But when I put it up, it doesn't get like similar views as see my vlogs. I mean, maybe you're just more interested in like everything instead of just skincare but anyway so this is something i love and i would have put it in my skin story video but it wasn't included in the sale but it's included in it was included in sale in the sale for skincare rx i have like a small bottle of this that i have been using <laughs> for a long time because i use it sparingly and i don't i don't want to use it up because it's expensive this is this is 44 at retail so 30% off is a good deal. And I usually mix this in with my Lancer polish and you just, it's a shower thing for me. I don't like doing this like in a sink, but it's like after like I've kind of washed my hair, or like when my hair mask is in, that is when I like go through skincare stuff in the shower. So, so happy to have this. 
So I had started using Obagi. I really enjoy the retinol. So I wanted to try this out. It's the Obagi Hydrate Lux Moisture Rich Cream. I have this sitting on my vanity, like my skincare vanity right now. And I've been using it on and off for a couple weeks. I really like it. I've brought it up under my eyes. It's a thicker formula and you would think it would be difficult to absorb, but it absorbs immediately and your skin feels like bouncy and like light. I don't know, like that's the best way to explain it to you. So I'm a fan of this. So Obagi has been doing good. Now, some one of you guys mentioned the vitamin C. They have a lot of different ones, so let me know which is the one. Also, all other Obagi products. I'm like highly, highly interested right now regarding all Obagi, so let me know the things to get. The Dr. Pawpaw, so I got the peach pink and I got the one in the original. I really like this and I wanted a small one to keep in my purse because in the winter it will come in handy for dry spots, cuticles, just something small that isn't goopy because sometimes you keep things in your purse and they explode and you're like, why did you do that to me? Anyway, so that Skincare RX, what else did I buy? Oh, I put it in order at Pacifica. Pacifica was doing 25% off because I've started noticing that this specific nail polish is not being sold anywhere. And I'm like freaking out. It's like one of my favorite nail polishes. So I picked up four of them and it's the shade Gold Lame and it's a crystal gloss top coat and it is one of my absolute favorite colors. It looks so good on the nails, on the toes. It has so much dimension. It's so shiny. I love this so much and the fact that I wouldn't be able to have it upsets me. I have bought a second bottle because I used up my first bottle entirely. So again, so these were only $7 on the website with an additional 25% off. So I also made a repurchase, which is the Afternoon at the Ritz. I feel like this is gonna get discontinued too, discontinued too because it's like separating a little bit, but it is a really pretty like peachy nude, like a dark nude. And then this I've never bought before. This is in the shade Magic Conch Shell. It's also a very light nude. I'll try this out in the winter because I don't know, my summer skin probably can't wear this. So these were $4.50 with another 25% off. I also have this glow stick, glow stick? Yes, it's called a glow stick. I got it in the shade Pale Sunset. It's really pretty and like gel, gel looking. Let me put this on. I wore this one day, but my lips were like really dry and it, it did not look good. You know when your lips are like already shitty and you put something on it, it looks even shittier. Uh, so I don't know. It left like a stain when I put it on, but I feel like it's because my lips are dry. I don't know if that's giving a good indication of the color. Yeah, it's very sheer, but I think it will amplify whatever lip color you have. I actually really like that. My lips look really healthy. Okay, what else have we purchased? Lastly, yes, I finally got my Pat McGrath order in. I picked up the trio of the quads that she released and I will have probably already shown these to you in a Sephora recommendations video. So I'm not gonna like, these are just the boxes anyway. This is just to remind you to tell you that I bought, picked these up. So if you went on the website uh, on launch day, you would have been able to buy these individually, but if you bought them, all three of them, it was way cheaper. So if you were already gonna pick up two of them, it was kind of a better price to pick up all three. So because the 10% also applied to the, already discounted bundle. So yes, like if I had to pick between Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, I would likely pick Pat McGrath only because of when I use her shadows, no matter which palette I use, the formulas are very consistent. Whereas with Natasha Denona, I feel like she's like, not that Pat McGrath isn't a perfectionist, but I think Natasha Denona, whenever she, she plays with her formulas a lot, she changes her formulas, she changes, it's very mercurial, like sometimes you get a palette and you like some of the formulas and other formulas are harder to work with. So 
it's just the nature of her i think which is fun and exciting because she's always doing something different doing something new trying out different color combinations she's also very committed to a color story like you notice when she releases palettes it's very when like the bronze palette came out or like the glam like she really commits to a color story which is kind of like awesome if that's like what you were looking for anyway i'm like rambling do i have anything else to talk about i don't think so i am so cold guys this robe is keeping me warm and making me look very like oh, what's that flintstones character bam bam <laughs> anyway moving on okay a small but exciting costco haul the sonoma snacks vegetable crisps I got three bags of these. I started this one. It is really good. Made in Thailand. It was like five bucks for this big bag. Also, the introduction of cauliflower and tomato. Very interesting. Smoked salmon. And then rapster. Rapster? <laughs> Lobster ravioli. Bananas. This is new. This is masala munch. And it looks like it's like a Cheeto texture. And I was reading the ingredients. I don't think there's anything here that is particularly spicy. So that makes me happy. This is made by Frito-Lay. I've been very into apple chips. So we have these Fuji and red apple chips. Lastly, this just looks so good. And like, yeah, I don't eat chicken, but I do eat mushrooms. So I figured I would, you know, give Sumo the chicken you know, as you do, so as my mini Costco haul. Okay, so this uh, Costco meal thing, I was worried about the chicken kind of mixing, etc. But it is in fact this kind of like put together kit. So the pasta, chicken, and the mushroom is separate, so I can just give Sumo the chicken and I can just enjoy the pasta with, I'm so excited. Okay, so I think the directions were eight to nine minutes in the microwave, so I put it in five minutes, tossed it around, got everything soaked, put it in again, separated the um, chicken for Sumo. It smells delicious, so let's see. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to be good, but Mushrooms are good. Mmm, because it's portobello, my fave. Okay. Okay, I am for this. If you follow the instructions, it is like perfectly al dente. The mushroom sauce is good. I'm sure it'd be even more amazing with the chicken, but I recommend this. Costco, I think it was $9.97, and you could feed, I think two to three people depending on if you have like another entree or main dish it says patricia is approaching with your order from red lobster okay so i ordered this directly from the red lobster i don't know if they'll just leave the food outside crap oh my god i haven't like personally accepted food at my door in such a long time I mean, when i'm at work yes but like at home i usually like leave it that was weird okay anyway let me show you the food okay red lobster you guys probably think that like <laughs> i'm like always spending my money at red lobster i would say 70 percent of the time i have a gift card and when there's a really good deal like when it's like down to like 20 some dollars for a whole meal then that's just me paying but anyway let me show you everything we got of course, we got the coconut parrot, parrot bay coconut shrimp. So you get like 36 pieces. This is the best thing that they do. You get two sides. So I got mashed potatoes and then I also did baked potatoes because these will last me through like, I can easily eat three days on all of this, easy. So this was free with the order. It was a code and you got stuffed mushrooms this looks really gross, but it's probably really good. But then in order to get this for free, I had to spend like an extra like three, $3 or something. So I got their crispy Brussels sprouts, which actually look amazing. If this is just like crispy fried onions or shallots with Brussels sprouts, it should be really good. And of course you also have Cheddar Bay biscuits. So 
yay okay guys so very quickly i want to this package with you because i feel like we should all be starting our holiday shopping early especially if you plan on gift giving start early because i feel like shipping is going to be delayed shipping is going to take longer if there are certain people you must buy for you know or you want to buy for definitely get it out of the way and this i think is a really cute gift so uh it's from chanel so when you get it you like rip that first part off and the whole thing just kind of like pops open and it's very cute it even says like chanel there and then as per usual you get your packing slip in this like nice envelope you get the chanel box so when you lift it off you have a little chanel sticker that's sealed so i haven't opened this yet so hopefully i got a good one okay so they give you a bag that your samples are in i always love these bags they're like they're just like luxe looking and then this is what i picked up so there's the chanel box it's so cute and then there's a velvet pouch and then you open it up and it's like this soft touch like leather type feel and you get a mirror and blotting papers let me pop them in so you have a mirror i mean how cute is this so you, this has a cover so you can just tear the sheets off the sheets also have like a little chanel logo on them i just think it's like a really cute gift if you know anyone that like really likes chanel products if you know someone that uses like blotting papers all the time like the only question i would have is once you go through this book <laughs> How do you refill it so then you just kind of have this mirror but i think it's really really adorable and i think it's limited edition so if you are interested in this um, i'm gonna link it below because i think it's a really cute add-on gift to something you know or it's a really nice thinking of you gift um, it is 35 dollars, so it's not cheap but it's inexpensive for having that like luxe presentation as well as let's see the samples actually so you always get two samples and I think the code in the bag will give you free sh overnight shipping. So I got a LaBeige's Sunkissed Highlighting Fluid and then I have the Hydra Beauty Camellia Repair Mask. So I mean that'll be nice. If you like the Le Volume de Chanel, I believe that's one of the free samples you can get too. But I mean I don't, I can't, it's not waterproof. Okay so yes, on with the video. Okay guys, so I know we haven't talked about Chinese dramas in a while and I was thinking about how to continue to incorporate it into the video so I'm going to put it at the end. That way if you're not interested then you don't have to watch. I know a lot of you guys are interested but I feel like the vast majority of you probably are not watching so okay. Uh, let's see, so the last time we talked about it was a long time ago. After I finished Nothing But 30, which I really, really loved, I think if you are a woman, uh, because the story focuses on three women, one is married with a child, one is married and then divorced, and another is just looking for love, and they're all, it's like their stories when, in the year that they're turning 30, and I just, it's very interesting. I think if you have led some life, you know, I think if you're super young, if you're in your early 20s, it's possible you might not be able to relate as much. You would still enjoy it. But I think if you're around 30, a little before 30, like you could definitely relate. All right, so I finished that and I couldn't find stuff to watch. Like there was like a huge struggle. I started The General and I, couldn't get into it. Story of Ming Lan. I tried to get into that because I really love the actress. She's the lead in Princess Agents and I couldn't get into that. Arsenal Military Academy, I think I would have enjoyed, but I like was not in the right mood for that. Uh, the Untamed. Okay, so this is like a big deal, right? Everyone loves it. I could not get past the first or second episode. It was like the same thing with Ashes of Love, and I don't know what it is about these specific ones that I personally cannot get into. So let me know why. Like, do I need to like be really into the actors and know about them? Like, I feel like there's like a lot of hype surrounding The Untamed because of who the actors were, are, but I just couldn't get into it. And then I tried to watch Sword of Legends because I love Yang Mi. Is that how you pronounce your name? Sometimes I'm a little confused about how to pronounce people's names. Guys, my Chinese is like elementary level. Like if I, like I went to China and, and I could function okay, but if I had to have an actual conversation with someone regarding, I don't know, if like there was a headline in the news and we were gonna have a discussion, I would be like, that's what I would sound like actually. I have a very 
elementary ability to converse. Like the facilitation I can exhibit with English does not exist in Mandarin at all. <laughs> anyway, so Sword of Legends, I tried to watch that. I actually got pretty far into it, but then like when when the series are older, there's a lot more like comic booky elements to it, like whether it be their makeup or their their dress or like the CGI, and it just gets a little distracting. But I feel like it was probably really good in the time that it was released. Uh, then I tried watching The King's Woman because I love that dude. Oh, what's his name? Vin. Vin. Zhang. Yes, his face. There is no one that looks like him like in the movies or on tv like his face to me is so unique and the fact like he has like like larger full lips and he's i mean there's just something about, he's sexy yeah okay and then i couldn't get into that <laughs> tried then i watched the entire series of love o2o with oh, what is her name I can't remember her name. I don't know her name. Anyway, I watched the series version of Love O2O. And while I liked it and it was like cute in its own way, it was just kind of like a time pass type series. And then I'm currently watching Nirvana in Fire because they finally released it on Vicky with English subtitles. And I don't need the English subtitles, but I prefer them for when there are words that are used and I'm like, I have no idea what we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, especially if there's like multiple sentences where there's like words that I don't know the meaning of. Yeah, it helps. So I'm very into this series. I, it's older. It was in 2015, maybe. It is what I would term a like the thinking man's, the thinking woman's series. It's very intelligent and uh, from just a viewer, it's just much more less predictable. A lot of these series when you watch them, like there's levels of predictability for sure. But with this one, I'm like, I don't know. What are they going to do? What is he going to do? What are they going to do? Who is going to do the things like you just it's it's good it's political which is not usually my thing but there's still lots of fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat so like we're okay there and the girl is pretty i don't know if there's gonna be more girls introduced but you know whatever so it, it all is working out for me and then so i'm watching that on my tv like at night but i started watching find yourself because song way long is in it and Cora recommended it to me and it is really cute like he's like I think early 20s and she's in her early 30s and it's this budding romance and I don't know I'm at season see not season episode 10 I watched like three episodes this morning while getting ready and that was like not not okay that's why it took me so long to get ready and he's so cute in this so cute his face is so beautiful oh my god guys all right anyway so it's very and i'm like do i only like this because he's in it and i can like stare at him but then i realized i find it really funny but it's the funny parts are the ones that he's not in i feel like he he plays like a cute fun character but he's not he's like the straight what's the word here that i'm looking for i feel like he's more of like the foil I mean, he is the foil to her protagonist, but I also, he's like a, what, there's a word for this guy. It's like a strip, when the person is like, just like the straight up character, like it's like square. They're not meant to like make you feel like, oh my God. And like, there's no, they're not like responsible for like a plot twist. Does that make any sense at all? I feel like I'm spacing out a little and why right so i i'm laughing a lot at the parts that he is not in because there's a lot of other couples and characters involved so if you're kind of into something cute and fun i would definitely recommend it like it's a very fun thing to watch i'm watching it on drama cool so i will link that below all right so that is our um Chinese drama rant. I feel like we had to do a lot of catch up because we haven't talked about it in like a couple weeks, right? Okay, but today for sure I'm going to watch Borat. I'm like very excited to watch this. Like I keep seeing like bits from like the trailer and like oof, especially with everything that is going on in this country specifically right now. Like I cannot wait to watch it. If you guys watched it, let me know because by then we will have all watched it. This is the end. If you haven't checked out the Sephora Pinterest, 
please do so. Uh, besides the video that I will have up already, there is also a Pinterest board where it's just everything that I'm looking to purchase, everything that I recommend to you to purchase as far as hair care, skin care, makeup, etc. Everything from Sephora. So everything will be linked below and I will see you next week.